rolling. Okay. Hello, my name is Chelsea Martin, and I am the owner of 4C Professional Communication. I provide services to businesses and organizations who want to cultivate trusting and productive workplace cultures. I am here to speak to you today about organizations of meaning. And what I'd like to do is just tell you a little bit about what I'm going to speak about today and then get into the content. What is an organization of meaning? So often we hear about the USA being an economy of service. We're a service-based economy. But what we're seeing today is a shift toward um, experience. And so more than a service or a product, it's an experience that we're creating. And we, we might even call it an experience-based economy. The move toward increased awareness of the impact of our work on the environment, on um, other countries, on our labor force, on, on our economy, this movement toward an increased awareness of impact has actually created what I call an economy of meaning. And so more than a service economy or an experience economy, we're moving toward an economy of meaning. What is the purpose of the work that we do? Our workforce is actually changing quite a bit as well. We have what has been called uh, the Generation Y coming into the workforce. And these uh, people have grown up with technology and um, they are expecting something different from the organizations than what um, baby boomers or even Generation X workforce people are expecting. And um, increasingly, people are asking for purpose behind their work and uh, a sense of um, motivation. And also this idea of social entrepreneurship and corporate responsibility so that we're about more than the product that we create. We're about more than the service we create. We're about meaning and purpose in our organizations as well. So you might ask, what is an organization of meaning? And why would I want to create one? And how would I do it? Well, an organization of meaning is one that um, creates positive connection between people. So people feel like their purpose at work is aligned with the mission and vision of the organization. An organization of meaning has processes, and I'll talk about some of those processes. Um, some of the important ones. Our performance reviews and meetings. So an organization of me meaning has deliberate and purposeful performance reviews and meetings. And those are a couple of the processes that we'll talk about today as well. Um, and so why would you want to invest time and energy into creating an organization of meaning? Because People are longing for a sense of purpose when they come to work. They're looking for a connection to the mission. They're looking for a reason why. Um, with this increased mobility, people can change jobs very easily. And Generation Y is going to do so even more than Generation X did. Um, the way that we recruit and retain quality workers and staff is through creating an organization of meaning where people feel positively connected. And so let's talk a little bit about these two areas because there are two areas that, um, can I say they plague organizations? They can be sort of a, a painful process for many organizations, um, but they don't have to be. They have the potential to create something really a, a place that people do feel motivated, they do feel inspired, and they feel connected to their leaders and to one another. So performance reviews traditionally have been something that uh, managers often dread. Uh, traditional performance review systems are top-down or 360-degree reviews. And there's a lot of inherent weaknesses with both of those. Um, oftentimes, with a top-down, the person who's reviewing the, the staff person doesn't have much direct contact. And so they're having to evaluate a person who they don't really work with. 
or with a 360 degree review, um, the feedback is anonymous. And so the team fills out a form to evaluate a worker and then the manager who doesn't necessarily perhaps work with the person sits down across the table and reads to them the anonymous feedback and meanwhile the person who's being evaluated is thinking I know who said that or what in the world are they talking about and so both of those systems tend to create more of distrust or more suspicion or sometimes people leave their feeling sort of dejected and like unmotivated. And so a different way of approaching a performance review system is what I call a check-in system, where we actually apply a process where all the people in the organization are in communication with one another about their performance. And the managers and leaders are engaged in that process in a very egalitarian way. And so this is something that's structured, planned, scheduled, and you know, there's a certain set of questions that people go through. Things like, what are you doing for me that's helping me be successful? Uh, what is something else that you could do to help me be successful? Um, and there's a whole range of different questions that you can build in. And um, so, you know that's how the scheduled part and what you're moving toward is getting it to a culture where people can have these conversations spontaneously and um, I'd like to go into greater depth about performance review systems as we get farther into the seminar the second process that I would like to talk about which is a, a place where we can really look at creating organizations of meaning are meetings and you know there's a great book called death by meeting by a man named Patrick Lencioni, and um, he articulates some of the great downfalls of meetings. Things like having an agenda that is so packed, you will never be able to get through everything. And if any kind of meaningful discussion comes up about one of the topics, it has to be cut short because you're not going to be able to get to all the other things on the agenda. Um, the other thing that happens at meetings sometimes is that there's one speaker who disseminates the information and all the other people you know, sit there and um, try to listen. Um, many of you have been to meetings. I remember one meeting in particular that I used to go to at a, a big hospital where the it was a doctor meeting. All the doctors came together and there was a sense that the meetings were kind of a pain for people. It was just something else they had to do. People showed up late. They didn't come. They were sort of disconnected during the meeting. And there was one doctor in particular who would bring his stack of medical files, and the whole time the meeting was happening, he was doing his, his records, just completely you know, working on a totally different task. And so many of you are familiar with this, whether it be looking at phones or otherwise disengaged. <clears throat> so these are some of the problems with meetings. Now, we can see clearly that you know, that, that could be something that would create uh, an experience that is lackluster, an experience that leaves people unmotivated and they feel like, why am I doing this? So if we want an organization of meaning and truly an economy of meaning where people feel connected and motivated and inspired, then our meetings are fertile ground to do this. And there are many different strategies we can use to make meetings um, you know, an opportunity for positive connection. A couple of the tips that I give people who uh, facilitate meetings are to think about structuring the meeting so that there's an opportunity for positive connection or um, interpersonal development, as well as the task-oriented information dissemination processes. So if this is something that you can cover in an email, that you can send out in a memo, that's strictly information dissemination and task orientation. The interpersonal processes have more to do with asking really profound questions and giving time for people to talk about what is something that they've done the past week or the past month that's helped the organization reach its mission? What is a challenge that the person is facing that's making their job difficult to do? Um, even maybe Talk about the personal life a little bit. 
Uh, what's something that you've done lately that has brought you joy? Um, one organization I work with, the beginnings of all their staff meetings, they start with something called the Boo Scale, which measures, uh, it's the barometer of overwhelm. It measures um, quantitatively how overwhelmed the staff is feeling. And it gives everybody a chance to just sort of pitch in with, this is where I am right now. So there's a lot of uh, things that you can do on the discussion level to bring in opportunities for positive connection. Um, and later on in the seminar, I'd also like to talk more about specific things we can do in our meetings to make them uh, a place for motivation and inspiration. Uh, so those are a couple of the processes that we'll talk about in this seminar today. And um, a couple more will be uh, topics around leadership and leadership development, um, hiring processes, and um, other ways to foster positive connection and organizations of meaning. Okay. Got 11 minutes. Okay. Yeah. I just don't know if you want to break it down or what we